Yes. and welcome aboard to Local Matters. I'm Dottie Rimsey. In light of Flint, Michigan's water crisis, many communities around the country are now reevaluating their own water sources. Should residents of Anniston be concerned about their quality of water? You'd be surprised. Anniston's Water Works General Manager, Ed Turner, joins us when we come back. Find out why Anniston's water has gotten a whole lot of attention lately. Hello everyone and welcome aboard to Local Matters where living local never felt so good. I'm Dottie Rimsey. You know, ever since Flint, Michigan's water crisis has come to light, other localities around the country are now re-evaluating their own water source and quality of water and residents are more concerned too. So joining me here on the set of Local Matters to address any concerns residents might have uh, here in Calhoun County is the general manager of Anniston's Water Works and Sewer Board, Ed Turner. Welcome aboard, Mr. Turner, to Local Matters. Thank you, Don. Where Glad living to be local here. is never, well, well, I say living <laughs> local never felt so good. <laughs> you know, it really has. Since Flint, Michigan's crisis, people now are more concerned than ever about the quality of their water. And I've been hearing talk around town, people kind of wondering, well, I wonder how, how we're doing. So I wanted to bring on the man, head man in charge down at the Anderson Water Works to talk to us a little bit about that. How are we doing with our uh, quality of water? Well, Dottie, that's a very good question. As you mm -hmm. know, Flint, Michigan has brought up a lot of ugly in today's society and mm -hmm. what has gone on is not uh, something we are proud of in our industry. Um, fortunately, uh, with Aniston's water, we have a source that has been very, very good to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have not changed sources, which was part of the problem in Flint, Michigan. Right, right. And uh, it's been, it supplies 98% of our water, which the other 2% comes from um, Lake Hillaby. Okay, so where is our water source, where, is, where does it come from? It is Coldwater Spring. Coldwater Spring. And it is, uh, considered groundwater under the influence and it's but when it comes up from the ground mm -hmm. it's been underground 40 years for how many years 40 year four four T 40 yes ma'am okay okay and um, it's very pure uh, non-corrosive and that is the benefit of the Aniston water and it's won mm -hmm. award recently mm -hmm. as the best tasting water uh, in the Alabama Mississippi right, section. Right, and I definitely want to talk about that a little bit later in the yes, show about all of the awards that the uh, Anniston uh, City Water has won over the, the past uh, several months. But I do want to loop back because you, you said something just a few moments ago and it sort of got me thinking. You mentioned that it's non-corrosive and from what I understand that was part of the problem that was going on in Flint, Michigan. It wasn't so much that the, 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 the water itself was bad, but it, it did go through water goes through pipes and so we you have to think about your infrastructure and so yes. let's let's loop back and let's let's go back then so we've got our water coming from uh you had mentioned from is it cedar springs cold water springs cold water springs yes ma'am the the and then also our infrastructure and our pipes are we so we treat that right because well, i don't understand they did not do that well we're fortunate our water is not corrosive now the majority of the pipes in our system um, our iron pipes. Mm -hmm. And because the soil and the water is not corrosive, we have uh, very little problems with our pipes. Mm -hmm. And it has, uh, as a matter of fact, back in 1940, a pipeline was laid in Anniston. Mm -hmm. And in the 90s, it was relocated. They dug up some of that pipe, mm -hmm. and there was still lettering on the pipe from where it was put in the ground. Okay. Uh, so the soil is very uh, non-corrosive, the water being non-corrosive, that helps prevent uh, water main breaks and such as that. Right. And it also, being non-corrosive water, helps prevent the lead from leaching into the water, which is the problem that happened in Flint, Michigan. Right, because that's what it is. And I know I was reading something last night. Uh, I, re I was reading an article from Huffington Post, and they were talking about the way that lead leaches on to pipes and then 
can then go, of course, then find its way into the pathway of, of, of water. Yes, ma'am. It, it leaches into the water, and therefore uh, anyone that uh, drinks it, uh, of course, can be con exposed to uh, lead poisoning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's a, a, a very serious situation. Now, um, we test every year for lead coming out of the spring, which is uh, a non-issue for the most part. Right. And that was not an issue in um, Flint, Michigan. The problem was the older houses mm -hmm. and the pipes. Mm -hmm. And anything built prior to 1930 mm -hmm. is a significant risk. Right. And back in 2014, you know, EPA put in a, uh, a rule called NSF uh, 61, which reduced even more the lead content in fixtures. So, so you're saying that, that because EPA did that, so you have to, of course, follow those rules and yes, regulations and have that have the water and the pipes treated. Well, just to make sure that the water, is, the material you put in the ground okay. has a lower lead content. Okay. One of the things, um, Jeff, let me see, if you would be kind enough to hand me, because I forgot to bring my bottled water on set with me. And this, it's what he, there, thank you so much. This right here, this water, we were looking at this bottled water right before you got on set. And, and from what I understand, people think, oh, if you drink this bottled water, you'll, it's, it's, it's the best and it's better than water coming out, you know, coming out of your tap water, that, it would, that this is better. Tell me, but this water we understand, we looked and we read it didn't have any fluoride in it. That's what, correct. And, 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 but our tap water, Addison's tap water, does have fluoride in it. Yes, ma'am, and that is, uh, that is a very good point. And the, the regulations um, for the treatment of tap water are more stringent than for bottled water. A lot of people don't realize that. Really? Yes. So you're saying that, okay, so because most people think if they get a, a bottled water that this is just like the best thing ever for them than tap water. A lot of people think that, yes. Right, because I, I think that. I'm like, if I get bottled water, it's going to be better for me than just turning the water on and letting it run. And we're going to talk about that, too, a little bit more, how it is important to let the water sort of run a bit uh, before you actually use it. But I want to, I, I do want to talk more about this. We've got to go to break right now, Ed. Yes, ma'am. We're going to go to break. When we come back, we really are going to talk more about why this may not be so, may not be all that it's piped up to be and why the Aniston water has won several awards over the past few months. So we're going to talk more about that when we come right back. Don't go away. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Local Matters, where living local never felt so good. I'm Donnie Rimsey, and I'm joined with Mr. Ed Turner. He is the general manager at the Aniston Water Works and Sewer Board. And uh, we've been talking all morning about Aniston's quality of water, especially since uh, Flint, Michigan's crisis, people are becoming much more concerned about the quality of their water. Before we went to break, Ed and I were talking about this, bottled water. It's the be-all, end-all for most of us. We've pretty much just stopped drinking tap water because we've been told that it's not good for you, that it's, you could possibly become lead poison and all the other things that we hear about. And for most people, this is it. This is the king, but, but Ed, you say differently. And I'm surprised. Tell us all about, because this particular bottle of water we, we read did not have any fluoride in it. Aniston does. Yes, uh, Dottie. Fluoride is very important uh, mm -hmm. for your teeth. Okay. And um, I've talked to many local dentists about this, and they praise us for continuing to fluoridate. Uh, some utilities uh, have stopped the fluoridation to save money. Okay. Uh, with every dollar uh, the Aniston Water Works spends, mm -hmm. In fluoridation, mm -hmm. we save about thirty-eight dollars in dental care. Okay. So that's important to our customers, and it's important to the health. And, and we are in the public health business. Right. And as even though we, most people don't think that a, the water, a, a water and sewer board, but if you think about it, yeah, you are in the public health business. Yes. Yeah. And, and the public health is important to us. And we have uh, fluoridated for over 50 years okay. and have uh, been praised by the Alabama Department of Public Health for continuing to fluoridate. And it's, a, uh, it's really important for children's teeth to help uh, prevent cavities. Okay. So you're saying that, uh, here we go, let's sort of just recap. So since people have really just 
become fixated with drinking bottled water. Dentists say now they've seen an increase with cavities because they're not getting enough fluoride. Now, most people would say, well, you know, I brush my teeth every day and fluoride's in that. Is that not enough? Well, and, and again, that's a, a debate. Mm -hmm. uh, not being a dentist, I can't really answer that question, but right. I do know what the dentists uh, recommend. Mm -hmm. And the fluoridation of water and drinking fluoridated water is important. I did uh, see a article a few years ago about the uh, increase in cavities due to the fact that people are drinking more bottled water mm -hmm. and uh, less tap water. You know, and I spoke to Dr. Jay Walker too, not too long ago, and he, uh, I guess, to just confirmed in, uh, to what you're saying, he even uh, mentioned that he's seen an increase uh, with more, with, you know, children having more, with more cavities. Now, I'm not sure if he's agreeing it's because of, uh, because they're drinking bottled water, but he certainly uh, did say that there's been an increase. And we try to, uh, you know, increase the knowledge to the public. We've had local dentists, um, if it's okay to mention their yeah, names, sure, uh, yeah. Dr. Norby. We're and, local, because yes. you know what? Local, because <laughs> local matters. Very <laughs> of good. Of course, go ahead. But Dr. Norby and, and Dr. Cannell have uh, really been uh, very helpful in mm -hmm. help spreading the um, mm -hmm. importance of fluoridation along with the Alabama Department of Public Health. Okay, so we, so, okay. And, and, and I, I want to say this. I, and, and I know people are saying, well, you're just saying that, Dottie, because, you know, we live in Anniston and, you, and we're all local. Anniston, since I've been back now, I've moved back about three years ago. I lived in Atlanta for, for several years. And I will tell you, and I hope no Atlanteans hear this and get mad at me, that was the nastiest tasting water. I mean, it just, it just did not taste good. And I, I, I just, I, I never drank it, you know. And, but since I've been back, Aniston's water is really pretty good, and I do, I do let my water run from my pipes a bit, and I will. I'll actually um, go ahead and fill fill up, you know, the, the the gallons of water that sometimes I'll buy and fill that up, and then put it in my refrigerator. It takes Aniston water is is pretty good. It's pretty good tasting water. It, it's it's uh, very good, and I, as I mentioned earlier, you know, we've won. Um, an award recently for best tasting water in the Alabama Mississippi section of the American Water Works Association. Wow, and that's and was huge. It, that was just one because I understand was it five awards that we've, the this, Aniston? We've, this is the third time that we've won that. This is the third time. I mean, yes. is it is it an annual award that's given? Yes, yes. For the best, and what was it for again? Best tasting water. Best tasting. So it's not just me. Other people agree with you. Other people agree, uh, and look, those who count agree because now we've we've won an award for that. Exactly right, and that also allows us to compete nationally. Mm -hmm. uh, that will uh, in June for in June, so we're, mm -hmm. uh, against all utilities in the nation. So I mean, here's a help me to understand about when you say you're going for a water testing. Do officials come here and 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 do some type of testing? Because what do you you don't pack water up and go somewhere with it, do you? How do you yes, do it? Yes, yes, we <laughs> we do. That's exactly right. You, what do you do? You have a, a special jar that you uh, put the sample in mm -hmm. and send the sample off and um, then you have uh, professional mm -hmm. water tasters, I should say. A professional water taster. Yes. And so what they do, they go around the country tasting well, different water? They, um, I don't think they make their living ta uh, ta <laughs> <laughs> tasting water, but they do. They, they know what to uh, taste for. They know what and, to taste for. And what tastes good and um, it's a... Uh, very interesting thing to watch. Mm -hmm, I would imagine. Now, I also want to talk more about too, because you mentioned how how great the you mentioned in, in your educating us about the quality of Aniston water, which is pretty darn good. Now we've we, we've we've learned that. But also, you mentioned something about our pipes or an erosion. There's some testing doing doing there, and we were doing well in that area. Did you mention something like that? Well, I as far as corrosion, there there's no really. Um, corrosion that we have an issue with because of the water um, mm -hmm. and being so pure. It, it's yeah. non-corrosive water. It, it's some of the best water. To me, it's the best water in the country. Right. Maybe I'll go ahead and say best water in the world. Right. Of but course you would say I that. may but be a little biased <laughs> on you're that. You're a little bit biased on that. <laughs> but you know what? I would say, too, it's pretty darn good because, as I mentioned, when I was in Atlanta, that was some of the worst tasting water. That was some of the worst tasting water. We've got to go to break. When we come back, we're going to talk more about, uh, again, why you should be drinking more tap water and some of the things that you can do to make sure that when you're drinking that tap water, you're going to be okay doing it. So don't go away. We'll be right back with more Local Matters.
Hi everyone, welcome back to Local Matters, where living local never felt so good. Never felt so good to have Mr. Ed Turner join me here. He's the general manager down at the Anderson Waterworks and Sewer Board, and we've been talking all morning long about, you know, the quality of Anderson's water, because with the Flint crisis, more people, more communities, and people too have been more concerned now about the quality of their water. And so, uh, and, and we've all become really, really fascinated and fixated with, with, with buying and drinking bottled water. But Mr. Ed Turner has shared with us that uh, here, here in Anniston, mm, we, we can probably save ourselves a little bit of money because we may not have to start, you know, to, to keep buying that kind of, of water. We don't have to do that because our water is so great. You've been talking about that and telling us about the importance of, of fluorinated water. Most of the time, a lot of bottled water is not fluorinated, uh, and you've educated us. I like to sometimes say, what have we learned today? And we've learned quite a bit that even dentists have, have, have noted that more cavities have uh, seemed to have uh, come about, and, and, and they're not quite sure. But you have said it's probably because they're, they're not drinking Aniston's tap water. It sounds like You've been educating us about uh, Aniston's, uh, the, the quality is just absolutely great. In fact, we've won, you mentioned, three awards. We've won best quality, uh, best tasting water three times. We've also won some, some other awards, mm -hmm. uh, best optimized plant for the Krebs water treatment plant, which wow. is the majority of the water comes from. Mm -hmm. And we've won that uh, 13 years in a row. Wow. And uh, one of uh, just a few utilities to win it 13 years ago since its inception. Okay. And, and a lot of that has to do with the great people that we have mm -hmm. uh, treating your water. Yes. And we have um, fabulous, some of the best people that I've ever worked with. I, I, I can't tell you enough that mm -hmm. uh, I was very fortunate that when I um, came to the Aniston Water Works, I was surrounded by great people and great people continued to work there. How long have you been with the Aniston Water Works? I've been there since 1999. Wow. Yes. Good, not good not as general manager, only general manager since um, 2013. A good deal. Good good deal. You know, and I mentioned earlier too that Aniston Water, it, it, it really does have a great taste to it and I drink it more and more now and ever since you've educated me about the water having uh, being fluorinated has really now uh, it's, it really prompted me into drinking more tap water here in Anniston because of that and, and sort of, you know, save myself a few bucks if I can in buying bo bottled water so much. I wanted to bring up a, few, uh, a full screen that uh, we put together. Uh, uh, just, uh, I think we put this together, yeah, last night. And I was looking at some of the ways that uh, if people are still, because, you know, we could sit here all day and all morning long and just really, you know, talk about the... Uh, great quality of Aniston's water. And, and pe there are gonna be people that say, mm, I still just don't trust, you know, water coming out of these fountains. I just still believe that there's a, that I could possibly, um, you know, be exposed to lead. And so I wanted to put a, a full screen up. These are some of the ways to limit, if you just really feel like that you could be possibly exposed more to lead, that, that, ways, that we could, ways that we could help ourselves. So testing at the tap. Now that one, can you help explain what that one really means, Ed? If you live in an older home mm -hmm. and you don't feel comfortable drinking the water, you can have your water tested to mm -hmm. uh, make sure that there is no lead leaching in. Mm -hmm. and, and I would say any home built prior to 1930 is, is what I have read mm -hmm. would be the most likely to contain uh, lead. Now you did have lead um, in some mm -hmm. parts of your um, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. after that but uh, prior to that you know lead pipes and it's, there's not a really huge problem in Aniston. Okay and then I, this one here it says flushing your water and what that means is just look, kind of just letting it run for a while. Yes. You know it's, it's you know if you just don't just go and turn it on and just you know immediately pour it into your glass let it run for a while. And anytime you do take a sample they, that was the first thing that you do is you let it flush just to, to get a, an accurate sample because if you um, take the sample right as you turn the water on obviously it's going to have time to have lead leach in or anything else leach in from the pipes. You right. want to flush it. Want to flush it. Yes. Okay. Here's my, and I, and, and I was shocked to, to know this, that it's important to use only cold water for cooking or drinking. Wow. The, the warmer the warmer the water, obviously, the more likely it's going to cause it to, to leach in. Did that's, not know that. 
and that's one of the things, the water from cold water, hence the name, it's uh, around 65 degrees year round. Did so not it's know that. very, very cold. Boiling water does not remove lead. Did not know that. And obviously lead being such a, a heavy uh, metal, it would just not make any difference. Really? Yes. So the best That's more for uh, mm -hmm. treating for any kind of um, contaminants. Wow. So after that, so after, after moving into a new home, remove faucet strainers. That, now that is something too, even if you're moving into an apartment, I think that you could still do that. Yes, ma'am. Go in there and clean those out, remove those. And, and, and look, did not know that. that, you, that I mean, you, you don't think about it. If you're moving into a place, then go ahead and start removing some of the, the, um, the uh, strainers. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, definitely did not know that. So great, so good deal. All right, Ed, so tell me a little bit more as we are going to wrap it up here now about why we should be drinking more tap water. Obviously, it's for your health. And, mm -hmm. and drinking more water is just a good thing anyway. Right, yeah. And the tap water with the fluoridation makes it uh, helpful for your smile. Yeah. And we all want to keep it pretty Because smile. we now know that. That's what, if we've learned nothing else today, we've learned that Aniston's water is fluorinated. And, it, and, mm -hmm. and there are some people who might say, oh, no, you shouldn't drink it if it's fluorinated. But you are encouraging us that, that we should drink it, that we yes. should drink our, our fluorinated yes, water. Myself and the American Dental Association, the World Health Organization, mm -hmm. many other uh, organizations recommend fluoridation for the uh, is there cavities. anything else that you'd like to share with us before we close on out for the day? I, I, I would like to, first and foremost, uh, if there are any questions, there are a lot of answers on our uh, website. Okay. And just go to our website, awwsb.org. That would be Aniston Waterworks Sewer Board mm -hmm. org. And you can um, also like us on Facebook okay. or Twitter. Okay. So we do uh, participate in social media. The power of technology. Yes, ma'am. Really, really helps businesses to become more transparent. And I also would like mm -hmm. to touch base that, you know, not only beside, besides the water uh, mm -hmm. side, we are uh, in the sanitary sewer side. Right, definitely. And that uh, anything that you put down your sanitary sewer has to be treated. So I'd like to take time to let customers know that uh, the importance of not putting fats, oils, and greases in the sanitary sewer mm -hmm. and anything they put down there has to be treated, rags or anything like that. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, ma'am. So it's, it's important mm -hmm. um, to keep an eye on and maintain our mm -hmm. sanitary sewer mm -hmm. and our customers are a huge part of that. Okay. Well, we certainly thank you and for coming thank aboard you. Local Matters and to educate Enjoy us it. definitely because thank so you very many much. people are concerned and now I feel a little bit better, and I hope that you do too, about the quality of our water here in Anderson, Calhoun County. We'll see you back here next week for more Local Matters, because you matter. <laughs>